we've recently had the person that was staying in this room is no longer here, so we have a problem. They were keeping shoes hung on this door, had too much weight on here. The screws here decided to start pulling out. The way to fix that is with a technique called fill and drill. To do this, you're going to need some dowels, a power drill. I prefer to use a corded drill. I don't trust cordless, mostly because I have had them let me down battery-wise in the middle of important jobs. Wood glue, your drill bit set, and of course, a hammer. Follow along. And we'll show you how this is done. Well, to get a good shot. There you go. There you okay. go. Okay. Wait. Oh, how does that go? The angle of the gimbal is going to dictate the angle of the phone. Okay. You should be recording already. I'm recording. Okay. So, what we do, we chucked up a drill bit sized for our dowels into the power drill and we're simply going to drill into the door frame as straight as we can by hand. I'm not going to go super fancy here. I'm just going to open up those holes so they're big enough. For the hinge screws. Sorry. Oh. Okay, we have our holes drilled out to one quarter inch. We have our one quarter inch dowel pegs. We're going to apply glue. And we're just going to smear the glue around. And seat those dowel pegs flush. Repeat the process. That's a little better. And this is where the hammer comes in. Hammer them flush, and then the third one, and we're applying wood glue to the third dowel What's peg. the brand of the wood glue? The brand of the wood glue is Tight Bond 2. No, this is Tight Bond 3. So if this house ever gets flooded, these uh, dowel pegs will not need, will not, uh, the glue joint will not fail since uh, tight bond 3 is waterproof. Okay, we wait 24 hours for the bond of the glue to be full. We mount the hinge that, uh, and the screw holes that we know are good. Line this hinge up and pre-drill our pilot hole just small enough so that our screws won't split the dowel peg and uh, run the uh, run the screws in and we should be good